Hey guys, you can now do 3D graphing in Desmos. And I wanna show you how to create this bouncing ball that goes off the corners of the cube, just like the DVD logo on a TV screen, but in three dimensions. The first step, you go to desmos.com and you find Desmos 3D in beta and you click try it now. And here it is right here, it's in three dimensions, X, Y, and Z. First, let's do a circle with a radius of one. It'll be X squared plus Y squared is equal to one. And that gives us this circle right here. If we click right here, we can see it's a circle on the XY plane. And then when we look at XYZ, it's just a circle on that XY plane. If we hit extend to 3D, what it does, it makes a cylinder that goes up and down forever. So the extend to 3D does not make a sphere. It takes that circle and extends it up and down forever. And if we want to shorten that cylinder, we can restrict the Z. We can say something like one is less than Z is less than four. And now we have that cylinder is just from one to four. But I wanna make a sphere, so let's get rid of this. Let's turn off the 3D. In order to make this a sphere, we need to include plus Z squared. And now we have a sphere with a radius of one. And if we want it to be bigger, you just make this one a four or a nine and it just makes it larger but I wanna leave it as a sphere with radius one. So every direction has a distance of one from the center of the sphere. And next, if we wanna move the sphere, we can put this X in parentheses and hit minus A and add a slider. And now as we move the A on the slider, it'll go left and right. You can see we actually leave, it's fun, you can see inside the sphere, but we could actually leave the box and going left to right. And then if we wanna go up and down along the Y axis, you do the same thing for Y, give it a minus B, add the slider, and now we can move up and down as well. So we got left and right and up and down. And then if we hit play on these, we can actually have it bounce around. If we wanna stop it from leaving, we can change the axes and let's do negative six to positive six. And now it doesn't leave the cube anymore. It just bounces off the edges. And that's because this is going from negative five to five, and then we have a radius of one, so we want our axes to all go to six. If we want to increase the Z value, we just stick inside here, minus C, and then give it a slider, and now we have A, B, and C, and now it's just bouncing off all the walls of the cube. And we can have a little bit more fun with this. If we want to add some more spheres, we can copy this, and then let's just shift it. Let's make this one B, this one C, and this one A, and let's do it again, and then let's make this one C, this one A, and this one B. And let's change the color of this one to green. So now we have the three balls all bouncing around in there. They're not independent. They all kind of depend on each other because they're all based on A, B, and C. So they kind of have this symmetric looking pattern, which is kind of fun. And you can also kind of give it a little spin and it'll just spin on its own. Kind of a fun Desmos feature. If you click and then rotate, you can play around with that too. Yeah, pretty cool. If you guys want to play around with this, I'll put a link in the description. How exciting.